A lot of people admit to having read The Richest Man in Babylon. Most successful entrepreneurs have read it. Aspiring entrepreneurs have read it. The book is perhaps one of the classics and still continue to teach fundamental lessons about finance and growing your finances. Authored by George Samuel Klassen and published in 1926, the book is told in a series of parables that you will find fascinating and will keep you intrigued and spellbound as you read on. The lessons contained in these books are like principles set in stone if you are intending to run a successful business. I admit, the first time I read it, I didn't read it through. I was learning so much I had to put it aside for a while. In today's video, I will be sharing with you three priceless lessons you should learn and practice from the richest man in Babylon. If you're new here, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Our acts can be no wiser than our thoughts. If there's anything I'm learning most now and paying serious attention to, it is how our thoughts affect our lives. So many young people go through life not minding what they are thinking about or how they think. One of the cheapest things in life is to think. Yet, one of the cheapest things that put people in bondage for life is their thought process. How you think is what your life will become. Judge S. Clausen emphasizes the importance of your thoughts in your acts. It's like computer jargon, garbage in, garbage out. Think garbage thoughts and you will produce garbage actions. Every man's life experience is a result of their thought process. So, it is most important to adhere to this truth that to change your life, change your thoughts. No man can ever rise above his thoughts. David J. Schwartz, the author of The Magic of Thinking Big, wrote that the mind is what it is fed. Our lives are a result of our thinking process. David writes that our thought process is the way it is because of what we fed it. You cannot feed on garbage and still expect to think great thoughts. Feed your mind with trash. Your mind produces trashy thoughts and your actions will follow suit. But feed your mind with good stuff often. Your mind produces good thoughts and your actions will follow suit. You never rise above your thoughts. As David Schwartz wrote, to act confidently, think confidently, to achieve anything worthwhile in life, let good things fill your thoughts and your actions will follow suit. Be careful to always think about what you're thinking about. Number 2. The reason why we have never found a measure of wealth, we never sought it. As we never rise above our thoughts, we also never have more than what we seek. This is a priceless lesson from George Clarkson's book. What you don't have is what you have not sought. Some people write to us asking us how they would start a successful YouTube channel like ours. Yet I always wonder if they are willing to put in the hard work, resources and years of waiting and working in the dark that we have had to commit to this work. More than ever, your desire determines your success. In Think and Grow Rich, another classic book written by Napoleon Hill and published in 1937, the author emphasizes the importance of desire to achieve a life of success. How intense your desire is to succeed is what determines whether you will succeed or not. Thomas Edison's desire to successfully create an electric light bulb was so intense that he wouldn't stop trying even after 10,000 tries. Most people would have stopped after only 3 tries. If your desire to succeed isn't strong enough, if you have not gotten to a point where you want what you want and you will do all that's ethically possible to get it, you are not likely to get that thing. Desire, a very strong desire for what you want is the foundation for achieving the kind of life you want. Number 3. Where the determination is, the way can be found. Listen to this. Desire without determination to succeed will lead you nowhere. Recently, I started reading Oji Mandino's classic titled The Greatest Salesman in the World. The author wrote, Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is strong enough. It means most do not succeed because their determination to succeed was not strong enough. Edwin Barnes was poor, but his determination to become a partner in business with Thomas Edison was very strong that he traveled all the way to Thomas Edison's town to work as an ordinary staff. Instead of changing his focus, although he was struggling, he was firmly determined that he would not remain a staff in Thomas Edison's company. Instead, he would become the great inventor's business partner. 
when his opportunity came, Edwin jumped at it. Henry Ford was a man with only a high school certificate but a determination to mass produce automobiles. He took years of waiting, planning, thinking and working before he achieved that goal. But you see, for a man who is determined to succeed, it doesn't matter how long it takes, they are willing to persevere until something significant happens. If you're hoping to succeed tomorrow night, pack up your things and use the exit door right now. Because success will not come overnight. It may not even come next year or two years from now. Successful people are not only looking forward to a successful destination, but they are also determined to make each day a success and to never give in until they succeed. Here's how I see it. Successful people are so determined to succeed that they are not even thinking about or considering giving up as an option. When I gave up the idea to search for a job after graduating from university and I chose to earn my living writing, I had given up every option to even quit because I knew if I didn't make it as a writer, I was done for. It was easy to put in all my efforts to succeed because I had no other choice but to succeed or just die broke. When your determination to succeed outweighs your reluctance to succeed, giving up becomes impossible. Until you eliminate all options or tendencies to give up, there will always be that temptation to use the back door when something tough happens. Don't do that. Success does not come on a golden platter. It comes with hard work, strong desire and determination. If you cannot pay the price, then you are not willing to rise. Pay the price now and you will enjoy the prize later. If you haven't, you should read Judge A. Classen's The Richest Man in Babylon. The financial advice contained in the book are quite numerous compared to the ones I have shared here. I hope this video inspired you. If so, like the video. We love you.